be making lots more music. Um, I do have some shows ready in place to play this summer. So super, super excited about that. And yeah, I have a brand new single coming out and I'm making a music video actually for it um, next week. Well, I'm writing all the time. So I constantly write. The only difference this time with the lockdown is I usually write with other people. So I get in the room with a lot of other people and I'm always going to different writing sessions, but I haven't done that this time. So I've either, either written with my producer, which is one person or on my own. Um, so who knows? I hope their songs are still good. <laughs> but yeah, that's been the major difference for me. And I mean, I've always considered myself an artist before a songwriter. So I think I've definitely maybe sharpen my songwriting skills just because I've been on my own so I've had to think more uh, so yeah I think it's pushed me in a slightly different direction so many hearts I could have called mine well, I write all these songs and it really depends on how they get produced you can kind of produce some really country you know or you can put a blues spin on it so every song I write I always try and make sure it's good with just an acoustic guitar and then if it sounds good like that, usually I can go in and choose the direction I wanted to go in. But yeah, they definitely have a still have a Laura Emmons vibe. There's a lovely, beautiful hotel in London called The Ned, and they showcase some artists on a Monday night. And it was kind of just dipping our toe back into real life again. So yeah, I played, played a show and it was nice to get out back out into the world and sing some new songs. Out of the blue I was singing <laughs> live and I was forgetting the words to my own songs. So um, that happens <laughs> when you haven't done it for quite some time. It's it's a weird thing. It's just in, usually you're doing it all the time and it's in your bones. But yeah, it takes a while, you know, to get back into the swing of things. I guess it's like anything when you have a break. After the first song, I was like, oh, I have missed this so much. Um, but yeah, no, it was amazing. It was amazing to be back out there. Out of the blue, you came along and found me. All the walls crashed down around me. There was only you. Out of the blue. It was really difficult, and there were some gigs that were pushed back on to this year from last year. So some gigs are like two years. I had a gig, I remember, early 2020 that got pushed back to now. So about four of them were push, pushed on from last year and then a festival was booked and then I got a couple of other dates. And then before I knew it, I was like, oh, there's 10 shows in the diary. So it was the venues. I think everyone was ready, you know, to get, get everyone back out there which I'm hoping, you know, people will be out and we'll be able to sell tickets and it'll be nice and full. Hey there, Mr. Yeah, we're from the same town. He said it's time you moved out of your mama's house. You wanted something pretty like the girl next door. So you bought a big home to lock us in some People are fed up now of Netflix inside the house. I think people just want to get out and have some human interaction you know there's only so much you can kind of play inside your house and record things it's, there's nothing like playing it live with the song sometimes the song changes sometimes you figure out new things it takes on a new life once it's like out in the world so yeah i think every artist feels like that actually when they play it live for the first time out so I have a full band for all the gigs um yeah I'm just super excited I haven't played any of the new stuff with a full band and there's some real kind of cool bluesy stuff and rocky stuff and then obviously broken down ballads so I'm just excited to kind of do a bit of everything we're gonna rock out we're gonna do amazing ballads on the piano and then you know loads of country stuff so yeah it's it's gonna be I just haven't played them live so I needed a full band really to showcase the songs. It's funny because I put a post on my social media the, day, the other day saying, I really want to play a sh local show, can you send me venues? So 
we're working on it and I definitely will do um, a hometown show probably in in the autumn so we're just well, there's about three venues at the minute so we're just deciding and um but I thought I'll put it out there for everywhere else and then I will do a home show and we'll make a big deal of it so don't worry and also I didn't want obviously we are still tiptoeing into the live music and people coming out in the world so I thought if I'm going to do a hometown show I'll do it later in the year you know when everyone's ready and it's not something I can just rush and just put together and throw it in so yeah, I'm just taking my time. So <laughs> I guess watch this space, Henry. Now you've you've recorded this. This is pressure now to get it in my get it in my diary. Yeah.